Do you ever struggle with what you find coming into your head? Like sometimes the thoughts that we think we go, where in the world did that come from? And what do I do with that? Because sometimes our thoughts may not be very godly or that may not be the uh, reflect the kind of person that we want to be. So let's talk about thoughts today and how to deal with our thoughts. I'm with in the studio today with Dr. David Johnson. He's a, a, a Christian, a clinical psychologist. And let's talk about thoughts and, and how to deal with our thoughts. So, yeah. so what is really the function of our thoughts or our mind? Yeah, yeah. so most importantly, God gave us a mind uh, that, that has two paramount purposes, and it's to keep mm-hmm. us safe. Okay. Thank, thank God He gave us that, yeah. right? So that when I walk out in the street, my mind's attuned to the cars, and I'm not getting flattened like a pancake. Yeah. But also, we are, it's also just helping us to regulate energy. So it's always kind of keeping in, in mind, what should I do, what shouldn't I do? Where's the best place to invest my, my time and energy? Okay, all right, most really important uh, functions. Yeah. Okay, so I think the practical question that our viewers really want to know though is, is can I control these thoughts? Yeah, yeah. Because you, know, you know, they're coming out, yeah, how can, I, how can I deal with those? Can I control them? Yeah, I, and I like how you, you open it up, Ross, because so many thoughts we get um, almost scare us because yeah, yeah w- uh, what does that mean? And and uh, am I is that coming from uh, an ungodly place? And um, what are the implications of that yeah. for my my salvation or my my morality? Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it's important to just keep in mind that our minds are generating all kinds of randomness, all, all kinds time. of yeah. noise and, and stuff like that. And so um, I honestly don't put a lot of stock in my thoughts. Mm-hmm. I try to step back and I try to ask. Huh, that, that's curious, like a little bit of a, an open, openness to it and say, you know, that, that's just a thought. That's not necessarily me. Right. That doesn't mm-hmm. define me. And is my mind possibly doing what it does to keep me safe? And, um, and yet there's, there's a higher purpose to us, right? A higher calling right, than just right. our thought world. Yeah, yeah. So that, you know, that reminds me of um, in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, the Bible talks about taking our thoughts captive. Mm-hmm. So how's that different? We're saying we don't really control our thoughts. Yeah. So what does it mean to take our thoughts captive? Or how do we, how do we challenge those thoughts? Yeah, yeah. see here, here's what I don't think it's meaning. I don't think it means take lots of little jail cells and put all those thoughts in and lock right. them up and throw away the key. Right, right. Because they just slide right through the bars. <clears throat> right. So I don't think we can ever <laughs> stop thoughts. In fact, if I were to ask you right now, I want you to not think of a pink elephant. Don't think of it. <laughs> it's there, right? Right. It's, it looms large suddenly yeah, in my thinking. Here it comes. Yeah. Right. So we, we, when we try to inhibit thoughts, there's this rebound effect. So what I think God's saying is take captive meaning um, Look closer, right? Gather up your mm-hmm. thoughts mm-hmm. And, and hold on to them for a, a look, a little analysis and ask, um, one, is that really a helpful thought for me to have? Mm-hmm. Um, and certainly, is it healthy? Is it, uh, is it balanced? Is it useful in my life? Right. And if not, I can also just practice letting go. I don't have to spend a lot of time figuring out thoughts and analyzing their meaning. Yeah. I can just pass on certain ones that aren't yeah. helpful. Let it, let it fly on out and yeah. and yeah and focus my mental energy somewhere else. Right. Yeah. That's really helpful. And so you know our thoughts it seems like a lot of our thoughts end up you know being acted on in behaviors. Yes. Um, let's talk about help us understand a little bit about the relationship between our thoughts, our values, and our behaviors. Yeah, yeah, that's where, right. Where does that go, and how does that go biblically? Yeah, yeah, because our thoughts—it's the well. It's in Proverbs four twenty three. Uh, above mm-hmm. all else, guard your heart, okay. for it's the wellspring mm-hmm. of life. So, mm-hmm. our, there is some truth to our thoughts are generating emotions, and out of emotions, mm-hmm. we're acting out of our heart. Right. And so we have to be cautious about watching how they influence our actions. Um, and, and for example, uh, you know, Jesus in his parable uh, in Matthew seven twenty four, he's talking right. about um, how we how we go about building these two houses. So okay, right, right. Yeah. So one ex- here he says, uh, and everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was the fall of it. Mm-hmm. And yet he compares it to a house that's built on rock, on stone, on okay, God's, right. on yeah. his words. He's literally right. saying, on my words. Mm-hmm. So what I think we need to do, God's calling us all to ask our thoughts, ask of our thoughts, do they line up with God's truth? Okay. And in fact, yep. right after this, Jesus says, 
It says about Jesus, when Jesus finished these sayings, the crowds were astonished at his teaching, for he was teaching them as one who had authority. So we have the greatest authority mm -hmm. on truth and on health. And if we look to our behaviors and ask, are they lining up, regardless of what our mind does, right. do my actions line up with God's truth? Now we're building a house and a body and a mind and a life that's worth living and stable right. and honoring God, which right. is really our ultimate calling. That's great. That's really good. So, so I hope you can see that, you know, we can't always choose our thoughts and they'll just come unbidden, but we can choose our, our behaviors. And so really that's where the Bible puts the emphasis on how we're going to live. Um, so I hope this is helpful for you to think about the thoughts that are coming in your head and to learn how to biblically to challenge those things, to evaluate them, to be aware of them in a way that helps you ultimately to be obedient to Christ. Thanks for watching today.